And hello again, everyone. Welcome to the conclusion of The Sacred Rings. Once again, I am Tan Stoppel, the Paleo Gamer, better known as Dennis, and I am your host. Okay, if you last remember, Umang is in the Palace of the Keepers, and he has just freed Mila's soul so that she can go to the afterlife and join with her lover, Rizan. And the last thing that she told us is that Trey will help us, or if Trey helps us, she will forgive him and let his soul continue the afterlife. So all we have to do right now is figure out how to get Trey to help us and, oh yes, defeat the entire Shadow Legion. Shouldn't be a problem now, should it? Let's get on our way. All right. There's only two places we haven't been yet. One is a door that I kind of ignored earlier. You may not know it's there. And the other one is this door that has a guard behind it. And we pointed that one out before. That's this door. I have to get rid of him somehow. Yeah. We'll take care of that in a minute, Ume. In the meantime, we have to go all the way to the other end of the building again. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You spend half your time in this game running from one place to another. I mean, how hard would it have been to just let me have an auto map and click on the map and just say, I want to go here and be there as opposed to, especially if I've, after I've cleared the pathway. Like where I'm going now, this is where I took out the guard earlier. Remember when I had to um, chop the elevator and either trapped or killed him down there. Alright. That was the armory we went into before, right there. Now I'm gonna go down here. This is the library. Now, before I can do anything, I want to make one side trip. I want to go up these steps because there's something up here on a windowsill I need. Another card. Yes, sir. If you remember we picked up a card in Guggen's office. Or not office in his um bed chamber. Yet it on his desk. Maybe this will help me locate the right book. The cards get used here. Unfortunately, it's not working yet. We have to power it up. The way we power it up is through this little lever here. Or this panel. There's all these levers. And if you remember, we picked up a lever also in Guggen's bed chamber. Now we have to get all of these levers pointed in the same direction. Now, each one of these, if you click one, you notice that everything in the same row and column moves with it. So, I used my little script that I have, or the kind of script I have, that just iteratively, irrit eh, I can't talk, iteratively tries everything until it gets a working solution. And what that tells me is that I need to click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, that's powered up now. So now we can see what these library cards do. Let's try the first one. And I'm not sure I like the mechanical wasp pointing in books, but whatever. Okay. This gives us a little a list of places. Dangan, which is the keepers chose this place to build their castle. That must the portal was installed in the main tower. That must be where we are now. Expeditions were spent through the portal to explore these other worlds. Some of the keepers chose to stay in these other worlds. This is how the keepers spread. So the keepers are apparently from here and they went to the other worlds from here. First place they went to was Adamika, if you remember. Adamika or Ademica or Ademic or however they decided to pronounce it this week is the first world we went to back in Aura. Dragos, the mechanical world and kingdom of mountains and snow. That was the second world we went to. Now I need to point out something here. Why did that? Okay, Ademica has a crescent down there. This is the symbol. Dragast has a big crest on the top right. Natiexu, that's the last world we went to in War of Fate of the Ages, well, almost the last world. 
It has two big crescents. The Bizarre Desert. The last world discovered by the Keepers. Hmm. Wasn't the last world discovered by the Keepers the one the Shadow Legion came from? I bet that's important. A lonely and desolate place for survival. No one wanted to stay there. So there's no Keepers there. We know it's... No one stayed there. And finally, the Island of Unity. That was where we went to at the end of War of Fate of the Ages. This is where the journey ship used to travel between known worlds without the magic of the sacred rings is concealed. Okay. So, apparently, they can get between the worlds as long as they use their journey ship, but to get anywhere else, they need the sacred rings. Okay. Now let's look at the other card. Oops, and I walked past it. Let's try and click on the right thing this time. There we go. Alright, this is the Sacred Ling Rings Laboratory. It's the guidance system for the portal. And here's how you activate the mechanism. You see you have these little diagrams here. Each, every symbol corresponding to every world. By choosing a certain symbol, you choose the world that you go to. Okay, which has nothing to do with this, but we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, we now know how to activate and program the main portal. The problem is, we now need to get rid of that one guard. Because there's only one place we haven't been yet, and that's that other door off the tower. And there's a guard guarding it and we have to get past him. Well, remember, there's one person who is supposed to help us. Remember, Trey? I guess we need to get Trey to help us and earn his forgiveness from Mila. And Trey is all the way on the other side of the building again. Man, you know, if I were Lumang, I'd be losing a lot of weight by this point. Come on, I'm running around, and I haven't had anything to eat. Come on. Okay. This is the... If you remember, this is the torture chamber, or the dungeon, the torture chamber down here, which is where we keep running into Trey. So let's go talk to Trey. Trey hangs out at this sarcophagus. Did you succeed? Yes. Mila's soul is now free. Free? You mean she's gone? What about me? Mila said she'd forgive you if you agreed to help me. Really? Yes. As I recall, you agreed to help me anyway. I'm not denying it. What do you need help with? I need you to distract the guards. No problem. Sounds like he was looking forward to that one, actually. Did you hear something? Okay, why hadn't he done that before? If, if I was in that position, I would be having a field day scaring these guys all day long. Well, and I have to ask one question before I leave here. The torture chamber, the dungeon, was this original with the Keeper's version of the palace, or is this something that the Shadow Legion added? So what was this building before? I mean, it's obviously... It's a stone castle. They haven't done a lot of remodeling. Are the... Oops, wrong door. Got it open up. Are, were the Keepers really into dungeons and that sort of thing? Hmm. Okay. Guard's gone, I can go in here. Now, there's several doors off of this. That door's locked. We can't go through it. That door we'll need to go through in a minute. For now, we need to go through that door. This must be the place where the tetrahedrons were created. Yep, that's what the book said. Okay. We're going to come forward here. Strange mechanism. Yes, it is, Umang. That... 
pretty much looks like something that should hold a tetrahedron, don't you think? Alright. The tetrahedrons are in place. So now we have to activate the mechanism. Now the mechanism, so here's the front, I'm going to call that the front. The mechanism is activated by setting these panels around it. Like this. See, there's four posts here. Our book, conveniently, and as usual, the book has changed position. The book shows this. Now, notice I've got two posts, and the posts that are blackened means I have to push those in. Those are the ones I need to activate. So this one is the left two are out and the right two are in. This one is all of them are in. Yeah. So left two are out, right two are in. Boy, the music's gotten real dramatic, hasn't it? Alright, this one, all of them are in. side. Here's the next one. Let's see what the two on this side look like. I was just on the right page. Why did you change, book? Okay. The top left one is in, and the next one, top right and bottom left are in. Okay. So top left one. Top right, bottom left. All right. Now let's go up to these steps. There's a lever up here. Let's pull the lever. I guess these are the sacred rings, not the things around the Tetrahedron Doesn't that look awfully like a Mass Effect gate? I mean, uh, we're just a dumb nine, but... Who knows? Alright. So we've done something. Actually, all we did was just power the thing up. We haven't done, done anything yet. Now we have to program it. What should I choose? That's a good question, Yumang. What do you want to choose? Alright. If you remember the book gave us the various worlds, and I was started to point out what they looked like a bit change. Okay. Dangan, that's where we are. Ademica, we've been there, bottom crescent. Tragost, we've been there, top right crescent. Natiexo. Crescent on both sides. Island of Unity, big crescent on the top. Bizarre Desert, just a tiny crescent at the top. Now, it's the last world discovered and no one wanted to stay there, so there are no keepers in Bizarre Desert. Also, if it was the last place we visited, that's probably where the Shadow Legion came from, because remember they came through a portal to follow the keepers. So, we like the bizarre desert as a destination. Okay, all this is done is just power up the tetrahedrons. Now we have to use them. We use them in here. Okay, this is where the portal will form. Now, even though I get a forward arrow here, if I go here, I can't go straight across. Don't ask me why. So let's walk around.
and obviously we need to activate something here. Now if you're actually going to play this as opposed to just follow along, I'd recommend that you actually um, save your game here because if you do this wrong, you'll get, it's another instant game over. Let's put the tetrahedrons here. The portal activates. It's just a big shiny thing in the middle of some place. Yeah. The Shadow Legion is obviously hurting. So let's go hide again, since Booming does that a lot in this game. Fine! The path to the Keeper's world is open! Victory is in our grasp! Away, my warriors! That miserable, misguided boy! Thought he could take on an entire plan. Now you should see the true power of the shadow. Hurry up, you dogs, while the portal is still open. That's the entire Shadow Legion? That's like, what, a dozen guys? Come on. Boomang could have Sam Fishered his way through the rest of the complex and taken out those guys one at a time. He's already taken out one. There are two if you count Guggen. Come on. Alright. Well, I guess we need to close the portal before we get the Shadow Legion figures out. We just sent them home and they came back. So, let's... Close the portal. Oops. Good job breaking it, Dira. And the walking house is back! Yay! Ume! You don't look well. I'm fine. I just need to rest. Oh. Well, you can rest in my new house. But one thing. You have to promise me. No more explosions. Don't worry, Nigga 4. I've had enough explosions to last me a lifetime. Good. Let's go then. I can't wait to show you. It's really wonderful. Much nicer than the one you blew up. And so Nikifor and Umang head off for new adventures, and that's the end of the Sacred Rings. So anyway, that was it. Um, if you had selected another destination, you would have seen a thing of the Shadow Legion overwhelming the Keepers and or Umang. You could have also followed them through a portal. That would have been a bad idea too. So, um, but that's it. That's how you the end of the game. So. Hope everyone had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to play the game yourself, you can try some of the side things that I kind of skipped over there and see what's going on. I don't know what we're going to be playing next. I may actually pick up Amazon and use it for the next one because the walking house reminds me of the vehicle you have in Amazon, and we probably should look at Lunasa Calls um, games. Uh, you probably know him as the creator of Siberia, but he's done like a dozen games, or a half dozen games. So. Anyway, we'll probably do that next time. For now, I'll let the credits run. And until the next game, this is Dennis, this is Tans Tavel the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.